Okay, get this, a pacing couple back home and recovering after going under the knife on the same day. But they weren't the only ones in surgery. They kicked off a sequence of events that spanned four different states, and it all started in Murray. That's where we find Brona Tumulty today. And Brona, this is all due to a kidney transplant, right? It certainly is. You're about to meet a very special couple, Taylor and Spencer Pierce. Now, due to an autoimmune disease, Taylor needed a new kidney, and Spencer wasn't a match, but she was able to help him in a roundabout kind of a way, thanks to six strangers. He took me to California Pizza Kitchen. A blind date brought Taylor and Spencer Pierce together. We met through a mutual friend. And it was love at first sight. The second I opened the door, I knew it was him. Like, he was the one. But little did they know. We decided that we wanted to get married. How soon, in sickness and in health, you never know what's going to happen, would come into play. Oh, no. Nobody goes into this thinking, I'm going to have kidney failure. A phone call from the hospital. Uh, she just told me that I was going into kidney failure. Changed everything for Taylor. One of those moments in your life where you just kind of get stopped dead in your tracks. You, you start to wonder if you're going to be there for your, your children's lives. So Spencer stepped up. When did you decide I can give him a kidney, I can do this. Immediately. The second he's put on the list, I ended up not being a match. I started doing um, hemodialysis. Then the hospital called again. They said, we're kind of out of options, but we could, what, how do you feel about swapping? I was like, oh, let's do it. What do we gotta do? So they waited for some good news. March, like mid-March. And they were like, Spencer, we got the call. Got a kidney, it's a perfect kidney, it's great, it's good match, it's everything. And I just started crying, and I'm not a crier. <laughs> but this was no normal operation. Yeah, it's kind of like dominoes, just have to, and she, she was the first one. In fact, eight people were involved in four states. My kidney went to Minnesota. And theirs got sent to Virginia. Virginia sent theirs to Oregon. And Oregon donated one to me. So his came in at like six o'clock that night. So you have a kidney floating around in Minnesota somewhere? Mm -hmm. I hope it's nice and cold. <laughs> the couple doesn't know the others involved in all this, but hope to someday. I think it would be really awesome to have like a little kidney powwow. Because now this family, yeah. and now we're kidney buddies yeah. for life, can finally start dreaming again about the future. It's like a second chance at doing stuff with them. Yeah. You kind of got your life back. Yeah, yeah, we did. I think we all got our lives back. Right now, more than 100,000 people around the country are waiting on a kidney transplant. About 534 of them are right here in Utah. If you feel you could be a donor, there's some information, some useful links up on our website under this story at KUTV.com. Live in Murray, Bruno Tumulty, 2 News.